Continental Tire Coach's Corner. He's the new Indiana head coach. He's Archie Miller. Did a great job at Dayton. Coached for six years. And now he's on his seven-year deal to coach the Indiana Hoosiers. Where are you today, Archie? Well, I'm sitting in my office here in uh, in Bloomington, and uh, there's not a whole lot on the walls yet, but uh, it's a great place. Do you need something? Can we send you something there to give it a little bit more of a homely feel? What do you got in mind? I don't know. We could, I got something around the man cave I could probably throw your way. You you fire me a gift from the man cave, and I'll put it in my office, and we'll we'll make sure that we take good care of it. It'll be the first item in in the office in Bloomington. Okay. All right. Let's we'll see what we can come up with uh, here. Can you believe that you're the head coach at Indiana? I mean, is it sunk in? Not really. I mean, it's kind of hard to believe um, because, you know, things in our business, they don't happen over the course of, uh, you know, months. You don't have to, you know, hour, you, you don't have months to decide. You have minutes. And when the opportunity arose, uh, the conversations lead to, you know, face to face, you know, at that point in time, you know, when something like that happens, you have to be ready to go. And, uh, you know, to me, I was a Dayton. Uh, had a great run. It's an amazing place. It loves uh, their basketball in general, but uh, they're great people. And uh, I would have never, never considered anything unless I felt the opportunity was the same and, and gave us an opportunity to, you know, take advantage of a Final Four caliber program. And so that's why we're here. All right. But you, let me go back on what you just said. You had minutes to decide on this. Do you feel like you were on the clock if you weren't deciding to take the Indiana job that they would have moved on? No, I don't think it was anything like that. I think it was it was a very comfortable conversation, and uh, I knew I had made my mind up when I took the call that you have to be ready to go, you know, you know, right away on this one if if it goes in your direction or if the conversations, you know, work out. And I just felt really good about our conversations with uh, with Fred Glass and and President McRobbie as well. You know, they they they're welcoming people. Uh, they understand Indiana basketball, and you know, everything that we talked about. You know, to be honest with you, as I've been here seems to be the part so i'm excited to be here and uh, i'm looking forward to building on their tradition how important is it to keep the talent in state because that's been an issue in previous years well it's primary option you know number one you know the state of indiana uh, the high school kids the youth of, of the state the high school coaches uh you know they in many ways have all grown up uh with their eyes in bloomington and the program and i think that that's something that if we can revive in a big way and they can feel good about the way that we do things, especially the way we treat people, uh, you know, the high school coaches, the, the kids, um, you know, the grassroots programs in general, I want those guys to feel like we're good people and we treat our, we treat people right. And, and that's the first step in trying to establish that this is a place, a destination for kids who grow up in the state is that not, not only are they going to, you know, experience a great education, experience great fans, but they're also going to be around the staff that's going to take great care of them and develop them. What did you make of uh, the stories that came out when uh, it was going to be Steve Alford's job if he wanted it? Were you already talking to Indiana at that point? Oh, no, I had no idea. You know, I think we were still playing at the time. And, uh, you know, I was really, really engaged in, in our season till the end. And, uh, you know, once we were dropped out of the tournament, it was a tough loss to Wichita State. You know, I was just taking a deep breath and went out to San Jose and spent some time, uh, you know, with Arizona. You know, they were heading into the Sweet 16 and, I was hoping to, to stick there for a couple of days and watch those guys have an opportunity to break through and get to the final four and, um, you know, uh, sort of got distracted a little bit by the Indiana, um, you know, interest. And uh, from that point on, you know, things kind of took off. So I wasn't concentrating on anything. Uh, you know, to be honest with the Indiana wasn't on my radar um, at the time. We were fully moving forward into our spring at Dayton. And, uh, you know, sometimes things happen for a reason. And, and hopefully this one is a, is, a, is a reason, is a good one. Uh, people uh, call you Archie. Your real name is Ryan. Do you want to give the story to people uh, on, on how we came up with a nickname, Archie? Well, it was given to me uh, as I was, uh, you know, really, really a, a toddler. Um, uh, I had a very, very bad temperament. I was very grouchy, angry, um, very few baby pictures of me uh, smiling. <laughs> and um, they, they used to say at that time, uh, you know, had the personality of Archie Bunker. And, um I think that it's stuck uh, amazingly, and I don't necessarily know if 98% of the world 
even knows that my real name is Ryan, which is a true testament to a great nickname. But uh, <laughs> I stick with it. Um, it's kind of been me, and uh, it's kind of been who I am. And other than my mom and my sisters and maybe my sister-in-law, there's just very few people who actually call me Ryan on a day-to-day basis. He's uh, Archie Miller, the new Indiana head coach. You seem less sweaty than your brother. <laughs> at, at least on TV on the sidelines, Arch. Well, I tell you, a lot of it just depends on the venue you're in. Sometimes these places are extremely hot. And, uh, you know, depending, depending on the officiating in the game, you can get riled up and get active. But, um, you know, I tend to think that, um, you know, I can, I can handle it a little bit. A little bit. But, uh, you know, Sean, Sean's active on the sidelines as well when he gets into it. Um, uh, you know, sometimes uh, television can put you in a, in a tough spot. Well, uh, congratulations on, first of all, the great job you did at Dayton. And uh, I, thought, I thought you deserved uh, Coach of the Year consideration with what you did at Dayton and uh, a tough first-round matchup there for you. But good luck at Indiana. Get them to play some defense too, Archie. That'll help too. <laughs> well, we're going to work on everything. And, uh, you know, my hope is that we can – uh, you know, put put out there something that this this great place and great state can be proud of, and I know we're going to work very hard towards it. So I appreciate it, and uh, I hope to be able to get on again uh, at some point in time. And your favorite movie now is Hoosiers, Archie. Remember that, okay? Absolutely. Yes. Memorize it. Thank you, Arch. <laughs> Will do. Thanks, Dan. That's uh, Ryan Miller. Everybody calls him Archie. All right. Uh, oh, Continental Tire, Coach's Corner. For what you do, Continental Tire, they they got it all for you. They they do it all. Was, was that an accent? There? What? You throw a little accent there? I don't know. Little coach's corner. Coach's corner. Coach Continental Tire, proud sponsor, exclusive tire. Dan Patrick show. No matter where you drive, what you drive, Continental Tire. For what you do, Continental Tire. The Dan Patrick Show, weekday mornings on Audience. 